Okay, so I have no idea if this footage is going to be worth even showing, but I'm going to show you how to take a, um, what is this? It's the Radio Shack wireless uh, lapel microphone system. So it comes with a little wireless component that you uh, clip onto your belt. Uh, you know, it's a lapel pin and the um, receiver unit. And so here it is all in the box. And I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this. Let me see how close I can get to this. But um, there, I think you can read that. Anyway, the idea is this is uh, 9 volts at 300 milliamps. And it turns out that 300 milliamps is pretty, uh, it's a pretty low uh, power draw. Um, and 9 volts, you know, of course, you know, just a, a normal 9 volt energizer battery will provide 9 volts. Um, and the other combination of things, here, let me just show you this and this. So I've got, you know, I bought these at Radio Shack. This one will hold four AA batteries, and this one will hold two AAA batteries. And of course, I can, uh, you know, get one that holds two AA batteries. And, and I've, I've attached what are, these are called little roach clips, right? You squeeze these open. Hopefully you can get most of this in focus. Um, at any rate, when you, when you get right down here and you see, you know, how these attach, you got two roach clips on the end of this right here. Well, at each double uh, A AA or AAA battery, and here, maybe I can find one for you here. Yeah, where it is. Uh, yeah, so let's see here. Well, it'll say on there somewhere that it's, yeah, I think it's right there, one and a half volts. So, um, okay, so I don't know if this is going to be too jumpy or not, but uh, what, what, oh, sorry, so one and a half volts, that means that two make up three volts and three more make up six volts, so that gives you nine volts between those two. So, so my question is, how long will batteries power this receiver unit? Now, I can come up with a battery combination that will power the receiver unit for, um, you know, for at least... Uh, you know, an hour, then I'll be able to plug the receiver unit right into my ZI-8 and film anywhere I want using my wireless lapel mic. So, um, so anyway, what I've done is I came out and in my little box of wires and, and widgets and things that I, that I have saved up, yeah, <laughs> including my first cell phone and my second cell phone. Isn't that, isn't that a gem? Look how wide that thing is. By the way, here's my hand. So you can see, you can't find them like that anymore. I don't think these would even work. Well, anyway, among my, my wires and such, I had this old uh, Radio Shack uh, power supply. And you'll notice it's the same as the newer model that came with this unit. So uh, what I was most interested in was the end connector. So you see this end connector? And here's the new end connector right here. And you'll notice they're roughly the same. It comes right down to it, and I tested it. So you just turn this over, and I saw that this plugs in here just fine. So what I did is I, I just took my uh, basic wire cutters. And you can get these just about anywhere you like. Uh, took my wire cutters, and I uh, cut the end off, and now... I'm going to uh, splice the ends off, and you just use probably the, the smallest 22 gauge here. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll get the ends off, and then I'm going to try connecting a 9 volt battery first off. And I'll just use roach clips so I don't even have to do any soldering. Um, and I'm going to see if it powers up and how well it works, and maybe how long uh, you know, it takes to drain out that 9 volt battery. And if the 9 volt battery by itself works for an hour, then then I'm in business. That's fantastic. And if the 9 volt battery doesn't work, then I'll try these. I'll try the the double A, triple A, and uh, I mean certainly the if if you wanted to, since triple A, double A, C, and D batteries, all of those are one and a half volts. The difference is the amount of time you get out of the, the the battery, right? Because the, the D cell is much larger than a, a AAA. 
so it gives you more uh, it gives you the same voltage for longer at any rate um, you know certainly we could get up to a D pack and 6D batteries might actually line up to be about as long as this uh, they'd be a tad heavy but um, anyway so we're gonna try the easiest of course this is the you know the most convenient is this energizer 9 volt battery and then the next most convenient would be uh, six AAA or AA batteries um, and then we'll move up from there if we need to. So um, I'm going to put the camera down now for a minute and we will go on to make, hmm, let's see, well let me connect it up and then I'll, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay so I just want to show you this is what the ends look like once you uh, trim them off and one thing I wanted to point out, uh, in order to do this right, you probably want to have uh, some, some tools. And these aren't necessarily standard, but they're pretty cheap. Um, I've got, uh, here, let me just open it up and I can show you. I've got this little gadget here. There you go. Uh, it's called a multimeter. And what it lets you do is measure voltages and things like that. And if that sounds scary, well, don't don't fret too much. The um, it's actually pretty simple and, and you're not really at risk. The, the types of voltages you deal with using a, a you know using batteries, you're not going to shock yourself and you might you might damage some components. but um, what we need to do is we need to figure out since there are two leads here, uh, and you'll notice, I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but one of these leads is just black and the other one has uh, a little bit of a white dotted line on it. Um, and the reason is that one of those is positive and one is negative. Anytime you're dealing with DC, one is positive, one is negative. So you remember that. And then you'll notice that here on the 9 volt battery, um, you've got two different terminals. One of those, again, is going to be positive. It's the one on the left, I think. And one's a negative, and that's the one on the right. And it'll say on the battery. Sorry, so here, if I just pull this out of the stupid case. <laughs> Oops, sorry, family friendly. Didn't mean to say stupid. Um, there, I said it twice. Okay, so notice there's a minus there and a plus there. So I was right. Okay, so plus on the left, minus on the right. And what we want to make sure that we do is when we take this little gadget and attach it to the leads here, that the power we're putting into this unit, right, because remember we're just going to plug this into the back here, is, um, is polarized correctly. If it's not, then you run the risk of of damaging the uh, the 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 receiver unit. Okay. Okay. So um, I've got this uh, uh, plugged in now. So this this is plugged in to the the power outlet, and and you remember this this is the other end. So here's the this is the end that I'm trying to figure out how to connect to the nine volt battery itself. And so what I want to do is I turn on my multimeter. And I touch, you know, I just choose, it doesn't matter which one, I'm either right or wrong. And it'll show me either a negative or a positive voltage, right? But I just touch these two together, and there I see 14.7 volts. Negative. So that means I got it wrong. So I would expect the black to be negative. So now let's switch those. And sure enough, I see 14.7 volts. Now I know the, the dotted line is the positive. But one thing that, that puzzles me is this is, this should have an, a DC output of 9 volts, not 14 volts. And let's just double check our battery here. Our battery should be producing 9 volts. And we know this one's positive here. And this one's negative. Yep, 9 volts, sure enough. I think you can see that there. Let me turn that. Maybe maybe that'll help you see it a little better. Hmm. Okay, notice I'm touching... <laughs> I, you can touch the leads of a battery and you're not going to get electrocuted. So you can touch the ends of of a lot of these. Now don't lick them. I mean, you know, don't don't give them a good conductive path to follow for electricity, but uh, anyway, it's easy enough to test. All right, well, you should be able to see each of the pieces. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'll grab a red and a black, 
These, this is to help me keep my keep my senses about me. And I clip, and this is called a little roach clip. I don't know why. Maybe that looks like a little roach. Anyway, you you clip onto the nine volt battery. You clip onto the positive one, and you can you know se several different ways you can try to clip on there. And then you clip onto the negative. And then on the lead that connects easily into our, um, let me just make sure again. Okay, yeah, it looks like you can see everything there. Okay, so on the lead that um, on the the negative, we want this one that doesn't have the dotted line. And the positive, we want this one. And now we can double check and just make sure that we've got the the connection right uh, before we plug in. So we've got our multimeter on here. And I expect positive usually to be in the middle, negative on the outside. And sure enough, I have nine volts across this right here. So let's turn that off. And now we can plug this, simply plug this into the back. And we have power. So great. Now uh, the question is, how good of a job is it going to do receiving, and how long is it going to work? So let's go, well that, God, that was easy, wasn't it? If this thing lasts for an hour, that'll be the easiest thing in the world, because we can buy something that, and I'll show you at Radio Shack, we can buy something that connects right on top of the 9 volt battery, that um, connects in a shielded way to these, and by the way, don't ever let these the open metal touch. You never want to short out a battery. It could actually explode. But um, anyway, so keep those apart from one another. Anyway, I'll show you if the, if the nine volt battery works. I'll show you a really fantastic way to um, to to uh, plug it in so that so that it's easy. And you know, I, I don't know how much a, a pack of nine volt batteries are. Maybe four bucks. But if you got a if you paid four bucks each time you did a filming shoot. That's that's not too bad. So anyway, let me go find a, um, some some more equipment so that I can run a test.